as more Americans are becoming aware of our worsening crisis at the border and the crimes occurring because of it, the ghouls over at MSNBC somehow find this funny. I mean, if you look at some of these exit polls, I mean, I live in Virginia. Immigration was the number one issue. <laughs> yes. I mean, again, these could change in, in Virginia. Well, Virginia does have a border with West Virginia. <laughs> very, very contested but you're area. Build the wall. Like, what? As N Wokeness on Twitter calls out exactly why Virginia voters would have immigration as a chief concern. Now, I would say I'm surprised, but this is MSNBC where during the Biden administration, their so-called news show slowly became the Hunger Games that nobody seemed to notice until now. And although it's a joke, the Hunger Games had the wealthy elites laughing at the peasant class, going after each other, struggling to eat while wearing over-the-top ridiculous outfits. And I honestly can't tell the difference between the two anymore. But if watching these soon-to-be unemployed parrots cackling at American suffering wasn't bad enough, apparently they're not the only one. Yes, every two to four years, we are reminded that we have a southern border. <laughs> and it is porous. There's a migrant crime spree killing Americans, and the president's an accessory to murder. And if you're thinking that these are just some Central American no-goodniks, think again. The countries we know they're coming from. Iran, number one state sponsor of terror. Their satellite country, Syria. Uh, Egypt, home of the Muslim Brotherhood. Afghanistan, home of Al-Qaeda. The number of military-aged men that are showing up with military haircuts, clearly in shape. They said these guys are showing up with six packs and military boots. I mean, I mean, uh, they're, they're clearly, clear, I mean, tight asses, I mean, there is. And I really wonder where you get this audience of NPCs like The Daily Show has, because to my understanding, they record in New York City. So these residents are well aware of how badly the migrant crisis is going for them, and then they hear John cracking jokes about the crimes occurring and how it's only getting worse, and the audience just cheers and applauds as if this was happening somewhere not their home. Now I do understand the coping mechanism of trying to laugh about the horrible situation we're in, but I do it in the way of, here's the horrible thing that we should know about. If you sat down on social media and doomed scrolled to see it all, it would literally drive you crazy, so let's keep it lighthearted but still somewhat informative. But The Daily Show almost does the opposite. Here's the terrible atrocities occurring to your own neighbors. Tee hee, what a bunch of no good nicks. Ha ha, doesn't Dr. Phil sound funny? Ignore the fact that he's addressing an actual foreign invasion by our biggest adversary. I'm just brainwashing you to think that this isn't a big deal. The laugh track in the background is just to pavlov you like a literal dog to be desensitized to your own demise. Isn't it funny? Americans are being murdered and kids are being hurt, but as long as I'm smiling and wearing a suit, weak-willed idiots will just nod and agree. Because this is just their go-to move. Oversimplify the problem, villainize the solution. But Republican voters don't vote that way. They don't vote based on economics or based on the benefits they're getting economically from the president. They're increasingly, from the Tea Party on, they're voting on race. They're voting on this idea of an invasion of brown people over the border. The idea that they can't get whatever job they want. A black person got it, therefore drive all the blacks out of the colleges, get rid of DEI. That is what they're voting on. They're yeah. just voting specifically on racial animus. Yes, the benefits of New Yorkers footing the billion dollar bill to give migrants $10,000 each. The opportunities California provides for migrants to buy homes with no monthly payments and interest-free loans. And of course, the horrendous crimes occurring stateside by criminals that shouldn't have been here in the first place, being represented by lawyers paid for with our own taxes. But no worries, our seemingly state-sponsored media assured us our only issues are just some scary Americans voting based on race. That's the real problem we should be worried about, because you being able to collectively choose that Trump may make your life objectively better than under Biden is a danger to democracy. And this is just the left's newest word wizardry. Democracy. Vaccines. Woman. Just keep changing the definition of words until anybody that wonders why it doesn't mean what it used to be can now be labeled a bigot. So if you laughed or maybe even learned, hopefully I've earned your subscription, then go check out the video exposing what the Democrats are actually doing with our open borders.